Well, hello there, video rock stars. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to answer one of the more simple questions about using YouTube and video in your business, and that is, what are cards inside of YouTube? And why do you wanna use them? And what is the best way to use them? So, let's go. Okay, so first and foremost, a card in a YouTube video is the thing that kind of flies out across the top when someone's talking. Like, oh, so I had this one video about this one thing and you can find it up here. And then there's like a thing that flies out. Now, those can be placed anywhere within your video at any given time to any of your own content. You can also place cards to other people's content or your verified website. So cards can be used super strategically, but the basic premise behind a card is just to reference the thing you're talking about in the video. So if I say, hey, so I'm talking about this thing today, but I have this other video that talked about this other thing, and it, I can just kind of like, or even just say like, oh, I had this video about this other thing, and it'll pop across, and if the person watching is less interested about what I'm saying right now, and more interested in that other thing, they can click and go watch right then. So that's kind of the basic element of it, but there's definitely some strategy involved in when you wanna place cards and all of that. Now, what I normally do is I notice overall, in my like overall metrics within my YouTube channel, I lose people, I start losing people around the four minute mark. Most of my videos are like eight minutes or less and around the four minute mark I start losing people depending on the content. But because I know that, I place a card at like three minutes and 56 seconds or whatever in every single video I publish so that I'm going to kind of break or beat that four minute like ditch point because here's a couple of things. Number one, I want to keep them on YouTube because YouTube will love me for it. Number two, specifically, I'd love to keep them on my own content because YouTube will love me for it, right? So if I know they're going to ditch out at four minutes, I might as well go ahead and put a card and have it come up when I know they're getting ready to leave and take them somewhere where they're going to want to go and spend more time. Another strategy here along the same lines is to go ahead and publish your video and let it run for a couple days and look at that video as a whole and see where people are dropping off and place a card right before that. So you don't have to say in your video, oh, so this one time I talked about this other thing and like point and do all those things. You don't have to do that. You can totally go back through a video and say, you know what, I'm losing people at the two and a half minute mark. Um, number one, why are you losing them? So you can have notes for the future. But number two, you can say, hey, like let me go ahead and put a card like five seconds before and that way when I'm getting ready to lose them, they'll at least stay on YouTube and hopefully on my channel. You can totally use cards in whatever capacity makes sense for your business and your particular video and all of that, but this is just kind of to get you started with, hey, I want to start putting cards in my video. Where do I put them? I will generally also put a card around the seven minute mark if my video is longer than seven minutes because I also have another drop off point there in a lot of my videos. And if I know that people are dropping off during a thing or whatever, I might tend to put one at that point. So basically, my biggest advice to you is to really dig into your metrics and see like where people are dropping off on these videos and how you can keep them on your channel slash on YouTube longer by putting these cards right before those drop off points. So if you're just getting started though, put them in as they make sense. Like, it, does it make sense for you to put in a card about a previous video you did while you're talking about a thing that's related? Yes, it does. Pick a spot and put it in. I wouldn't put it in the very beginning because you that will hurt the analytics of the video that you have it on because YouTube's gonna be like, oh, nobody's even watching this. Like, they're literally just coming on and leaving and they're not gonna like that. So just strategically place them throughout and do some testing and changing for your own content because everybody's is so different. Now beyond that, if you literally are like, okay, great, Jessica, that's cool, but how do I even put that in? I'm gonna show you how to do that now. So on your screen, you'll 
want to find the video you're adding a card to and then go to cards. That's it. Then you'll want to find the time marker where you want to add a card and you'll just put your cursor there and hit add card and choose a video or playlist or even put in someone else's video to include there. So then you can scroll through and find another time marker where you want to add a card and add another card. Now remember you can add cards to your own content, to playlist, to videos, and to other people's content as well if you have the direct URL. Okay, so now you have all of the tools you need to go ahead and be putting these cards in every video that you upload to YouTube. So if you love this, I would love for you to hit the big thumbs up button and let YouTube know that you loved my video um, and that I taught you something. And then hit subscribe so that you don't miss any more things from me, from YouTube tips to video marketing tips and everything in between. I am coming back at you so that you can also be a Vidfluential video rockstar.